it is 11 o'clock and we are going to the park with our friends for possibly our last catch up before we leave. I'm just trying to get everything organized. My house is trashed, but we'll deal with that later. I'll look down there to get a drink bottle. I am 28 weeks pregnant, which means I'm in my third trimester now, which is very exciting. Home stretch. Oh. Wonky, wonky. Right. What's wrong? You can't get your pants up? Come here. Yeah, jeans are hard to pull up, aren't they? Good boy, your pants are hard, aren't they? Trying to get Grayson in the habit of going to the toilet um, whenever we're leaving the house, even if he doesn't yeah, need to go. You don't because when you go, I oh, yeah, I went to the toilet too, thanks for Because when we go on a big road trip next week, he's not going to be wearing a nappy this time. First time he hasn't worn a nappy. He falls asleep in the car and stuff, so I wanted to be able to go to the toilet every time he stops. Even if he doesn't have to go. We have so much to do. I have a massive list of stuff on the fridge. We have to get done. Pardon? Why are you so... It goes up here. Put it down there because if it breaks, it's going to go everywhere, babe. We're playing for daddy and then we'll be heading to the park. I'm pretty sure we're running late. Yes, we are. I should message. Go I should message Sam and let her know we're running a little late. Boy, stop. Stop. I didn't know I was telling a lie It's been a long day for sure How could I resist your smile? Can we move on as before? I could wait for a thousand play at the park I have been editing but my computer is starting to die and it I save my like my what I'm doing oh gosh um every couple of minutes because it freezes but even with me doing that it's been freezing and I have to like turn it off completely the only way to fix it is like for a hard reset Jake came in, I forgot what I was saying. Um, yeah, I save it every five minutes or so, but when it freezes, I have to like force force it to reset and I go back into it. And it, when I open the program, it says when it was opened last and it always says 21 minutes ago, no matter how many times I've saved it in between them. So literally I've redone the same bit like six times and I'm so very over it. So I put it in timeout, and now I'm gonna have something to eat. The third trimester for me, this is my second day of the third trimester, and my nausea has come back. I feel sick all day long. Hey baby, what's going on? I'm chatting to the camera. Are you having a nap today? Yeah. You having a nap? Yeah. No. Do you wanna go to the shop or not today? You want to go to the today? Yeah. I don't feel very good, but he is in need of a poop prize because he filled up his poop jar, didn't you? Are you sick? You pretend to be sick. That's coffee. Okay. Now well, he's going to try and have something to eat first. He's going to have some ice cakes. You can have one, yeah. I'll have to buy more at the shop because mum is out. I've like gone back to first trimester stuff. Pardon? You're welcome, baby. Or like having certain things to ease my nausea. Like I have, I currently have a whole entire like two liter bottle of juice in the fridge. Cause the only thing that sounds good at the moment. Yeah. I want to put my feet in there. You're so silly. It's the only thing that sounds good at the moment. That like, when I drink something like eases my nausea. 
seriously mean. <laughs> I ser hope I do not have to have nausea for the next 12 weeks. I'm going to be so mad. I've gone through a couple of stages this pregnancy where she's had growth spurt, um, and while she's um, growing for like a week, I feel sick. Um, yes, baby. They are big, yeah. We cook our dinner in. Grace and sister. We can see what we said right here. <laughs> so I'm hoping she's just having a growth spurt in there, and it'll go away in a couple of days because I do not feel good at all. Hey, but I owe you a poop prize. I don't want to clean the house. She might as well go to the shops instead. I don't want to clean. So do you want to go to the shops instead? Mm -hmm. Let's go buy nappies too. We run out of nappies. Finn's going to be when he wakes up from his nap. We came into Target because Kmart don't have much at the moment in the way of toys. And Grayson can't pick what he wants. He doesn't want any animal which I was hoping for because that's the cheapest option. Now we're looking at the robots that are expensive. <laughs> what do you want, Bubs? Let's go. Oh, okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. Jason, what did you pick? Dinosaurs. Oh, wow. It took 20 minutes, but you finally picked a toy, didn't you? Baby. What is it? Oh. Oh, goodness. What is it? Baby's gym, that's all it. Okay, and the other one? Shut up. Cool. Are you excited to get it home and open it? Yeah, and for red eyes. Oh, they're a bit creepy. Okay. Which we're walking in the rain to the tree. <laughs> oh, oh dear. I have nowhere to sit my phone. Oh, that way. God, if you're wonky. They make these things, little ties, so hard to get into, don't they, Baba? Sitting here for like more than five minutes trying to get, get the dinosaurs out. It's frustrating. Someone's walking straight past my car looking at my phone filming myself. Yep, screen pretending doesn't exist. Bro, what the heck? What? It's so hard to get into. So we spent about 25 minutes in the shop trying to decide what he wanted because he didn't actually want anything. <laughs> Try to get into like different animals, different ones we didn't have at home. Oh, he has four feet. That one only had two. Oh my lord. I didn't want any of it. Not a single fucking thing. But then we ended up with more dinosaurs. What's new? More dinosaurs. Okay, this one's really hard to get into. It is no joke. It's twisted. Once I get this open, we have to go to the supermarket, get more nappies and a couple other things. And then we have to go home and do some cleaning, but it's three o'clock, I think. So I think Finn's probably gonna be home. Pretty much when we get home, he will be due to wake up. So it has been quite a while. He's been asleep for. Okay, seriously, this is just ridiculous. Nothing about this last month has been easy. Jake took my car to work this morning. My camera is so dirty, oh my God. And some old lady ran up the back of him and my camera isn't focusing on my face. And he doesn't think it's drivable. I haven't really heard much yet because he's at the police station um, doing a police report and all that kind of stuff. It's still not focusing on my face. It's nothing is going right. It's gonna be covered by the old lady's insurance, but we leave to go across two states in six days. And I don't know if we need to replace car seats, if her insurance will cover car seats, because I sure as hell don't have a thousand dollars spare for new car seats. It's my car, so it's the car the kids go in. And it's not drivable. And Jake's busy getting it all organized, I guess, so. I haven't heard from him and I hate not knowing everything. I can't concentrate on anything else. But there's a lot to do. There is a lot to do. So, I think it's focusing on pins bedding behind me. Um, I have a box here. And we're gonna pack up pins clothes. I have done the clothes in the other bedrooms. 
No, we're going to do fins. Grayson likes to help. He likes to throw all the forward stuff in the bottom of the box. So that'd be fun for me to do with it the other end. have to refold it all. That's what we're going to do right now. We'll try and be productive while we wait for some sort of news. accident at nine o'clock this morning it's now 3 30 and everything's only just starting to get organized and coming together the kids are playing meanwhile so I'm just gonna talk while they're playing I'm sitting on the bed they're playing literally under the bed <laughs> um, so our car is getting fixed under her insurance we're getting new car seats which Jake's gonna pick up tomorrow because he got hit at about 50 kilometers an hour and and it did enough damage to the car to make it undrivable so we are getting new car seats under her insurance also and we're getting a hire car which we'll be able to take from here to New South Wales because obviously we are literally packing our house up and driving 12 hours next Thursday so they have it organized that we have a car we're getting a RAV4, we were hoping for a minivan, but we're getting a RAV4, which is not as big, but hopefully we can still make it work. Um, we have to pack everything tighter. And the Jeep, my baby, is getting fixed here in, New South, uh, in South Australia, and her insurance is covering it to be put on a truck and brought to New South Wales to us when it's fixed. So we're not gonna see it for like anywhere between two weeks and a month. Oh, someone's tickling my feet, oi! <laughs> Are you tickling my feet? Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. So we're gonna have this rental car for a long time. Probably yeah, probably close to a month. And yeah, that's so it's all organized. Jake has to go tomorrow to get the rental car and also to pick up the car seats. Today he has to, it's 3.30 and he's just gone to empty the Jeep of everything except the old car seats because we're gonna sleep them in. Destroy them and get rid of them appropriately when it gets to New South Wales. Then he has to come home and we have to pack up Odin because Odin's going to one of Jake's friend's houses until we leave on Thursday morning so we can actually get the backyard clean because there's no way in hell the backyard and concrete would be clean with Odin still in the backyard, especially because it's meant to like torrential rain all next week. And he also has to go to Bunnings and pick up grass, which was meant to be a family excursion today. <laughs> Because we went yesterday while the boys were at daycare, but they only get grass on Fridays in winter. So the people have it for the weekend because it dies too quickly. Well, they like well, stop it all week long. So he also has to go and do that. No. Jake doesn't usually do things by himself, like all these chores. I just want to go and do them because I'm the chore lady. Like I'd be the one going to get the car seats. I'd be the one going to pick up the car. I'd be the one organizing everyone in the car to go and get the grass. But Jake has to do it all because I can't go anywhere because we don't have car seats to put in Jake's car to go anywhere and I can't go anywhere at all either because I can't drive Jake's car because it's a manual. We've just lost a whole day. Jake was meant to have the garden completely prepped because the garden is coming tomorrow. But he's gonna have to go in the morning. The garden is coming at 10 and the car high place opens at eight and it's half an hour driveway so he's gonna have to leave at like 7.30 to go and get the car and he has to come home and um, mow the grass and get it all back out all ready for the gardener to come at 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh my god. <laughs> so I have no idea what this vlog has turned out like because I haven't vlogged since Monday. But anyway, I'm just going to leave this vlog here because the kids are being 
wild. I need to keep packing to try and get something done today because we only have a couple of days left. Four days until the movers come and there's still so much to do. So I'm going to leave this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you in our next one. Goodbye.